Welcome to the channel everybody. Now today I have another guide for you and it's Urban's Flight School. So made ourselves a little hangar here and we've got ourselves a kinglet inside it. What we're going to do is just going to go and jump inside and give you a few tips on how to manoeuvre these things especially in a taxian position okay. So obviously holding spacebar down this will hold your air brake in, which will stop the aeroplane from moving. Obviously, if I let go of it, you see it rolling back because I'm on uneven surface. All right. Now, once you get out of the aeroplane itself, a handbrake is automatically applied. So even if you're on a slope, you won't roll back or forwards until you get back in the aeroplane. Okay. Now, Q and E, as you can see, shifts the back rudder. All right. What we're going to do is we want to use our mouse wheel forward slightly while holding the air brake in. And as you can see, the engine starts, okay? Now each notch you use of your mouse wheel will increase the throttle speed of the aeroplane, okay? Obviously because I've got the, uh, the handbrake in, it won't move, but if we let go of the handbrake and just hold E, we'll slowly turn this way. Now. Obviously, if you decrease the power, you're going to turn a lot less, okay? Now, if you have full power on, as you can see, we're going to start getting a lot of maneuverability around, all right? So, it's relatively easy to control the plane in a taxiing position, especially if you know how to control the plane, okay? So, Q and E, while you're taxiing, will move the plane left to right, okay? The more power you have, the quicker you'll turn, but obviously, the easier it is to then crash these things, all right? So, what you want to do... So we're going to part this back in the hangar quickly. Hold the air brake in. Nice and lined up. So all we need to do now is hold C on our keyboard. And as you can see, the plane will slowly start to move back. If you need to position yourself more, then obviously hold Q and E. And the plane will turn slightly. And we should be able to get this straight in the hangar again, like so. Alright, hold the air brake down when you're in. And there you have it get out of the aeroplane now. As you can see, the aeroplane is not moving. I'm not holding space bar down. Obviously, a handbrake has been applied. Fairly simple and easy once you get the hang of it, all right, of taxiing these things. Now, they can be a bit of a pain in the ass at first, especially if you're new to SCUM and you have never flown one of these planes before, all right? Now, again, with SCUM, like everything, we look at our aviation skill. Okay, now depending on your skill will depend on a lot of different things with the aeroplanes, mainly just maneuverability though. All right, so the higher your skill it is, the easier it will be to maneuver the plane, pretty much. All right, so get back in the plane. What I'm going to do is hold space down as I'm getting in, just because I know this plane will roll back. Now, what I want to do is take off. So, pretty simple, we could take off on this short runway here, but you do have a longer runway on this airfield. On the other side as well obviously we're down in a4 at the moment what we're going to do is we're going to fly from here up to c2 and land at c2 trader all right so start the engine up just push the mouse wheel forward i'm going to taxi out of here don't want to be giving it too much power because you will start to take off just enough to taxi yourself nicely along the runway obviously depending on if you're in a multiplayer server or single player server Depends on how quickly you're going to need to get up off the ground. But you can land and take off in these planes in a very short succession. All right. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So from the end of the runway. Full blast your engine. Use Q and E to stabilize yourself left and right. And then hold S to go pitch up. W to pitch down, and then you've got A and D is left, and then D right, all right? So, pretty simple, nice and easy. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to have a little bit of a harder landing over at C2 because the runway is a bit shorter. So, what we're going to do, head up there now, and then I'll catch you when we get up there. So 
so we're at C2 Trader, and as you can see, there are a couple of ramps on the runway. But don't worry, we'll land. What you want to do is line yourself up. You want to get rid of that engine power. Now, I will show you how fast we are going at the moment. It's only 126 knots, or kilometers an hour, I should say. Now, obviously, you can use Q, E to line yourself up a bit better on this. Wasn't the smoothest landing, but we're down. A bit jumpy around here as well. Which isn't the best, but as you see, we're down now. Now, if you want to turn around here quickly, all you need to do, full blast, hold Q, and then hold your air brake in. And you'll spin, just like so. Alright, let go of your air brake. And your power will go back up. Quite simply, we'll just take off again from here. Just go off, up, up, off the ramp. And you'll have enough air speed to take off. Alright. Now, pretty simple. That's how I land. Now, you can do this in other areas. Okay, I have landed in the middle of forests and stuff on very thin roads. But that was before, obviously, the modular system was brought in on these planes. So, you can now, obviously, smash the wings off these. So, be careful, obviously, if you're dogfighting. Someone shoots at your wing. You may find that you'll lose that wing pretty quickly. Alright. But, just want to have a quick look to see if I can go and land B4 airfield. Because a lot of people were saying, well, how are we supposed to get an air airplane out of D4 airfield when it's guarded by mechs? But, you know, we'll give it a go. See if we get anywhere with it. This may end very badly, but if it does, then we'll try and get the plane from the hangar in D4 airfield out off the runway without getting shot down and see if we can steal it from the airport. Alright, well this is going to be fun. And there's plenty of places we could land, like on this runway here. We probably won't get spotted. There you go, you can land. Whether or not we can get off though is a different question, so... But obviously on this part of the runway you'll probably be alright just because the mechs don't come up here. But obviously this isn't where the uh, the planes are going to be spawning, is it? So... Oh, better be quick. Ooh. The plane, if it does spawn, will spawn in there. Oh god, that's not good. We've taken some quite heavy damage on this plane. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's see if I can clip the uh, the wing off here. Missed it. Missed it again. Too good to avoid and stuff. That's my problem. Missed it again. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, but oh well. We'll uh we'll get a sector respawn. We'll spawn down in the airfield and see if we can get a plane off of that runway without dying. I'm interested to see if we can. Right, we have damaged it a little bit, but usually this plane would be facing out of this door, so Oh, 
and we're gone. Okay, so you can do it, all right? You can get a plane out of the hangar and off the airfield without getting shot, all right? Now, I know there was a lot of people obviously complaining, saying that obviously putting the planes there when they're so heavily guarded by mechs is a bad move because you'll never get one. But as you can clearly see, you can quite easily get one off the airfield out of that hangar. And to be honest, I didn't need to use any tools. I didn't use like the new EMP to disable the mech or anything. You know, when you learn how to fly in Scum and you get the hang of the whole taxiing thing, obviously it becomes a lot easier. Again, once you have a higher skill in aviation, it will become a lot easier. All right. But there you have it. We managed to get off. I mean, we managed to land on the airfield as well. We didn't survive, but we managed to land. We could have left the plane at the top end of the airfield there and walked in, you know. But hey -o. There you have it. Nicely done. And there you go. Got yourself a nice aeroplane. Now, you may need to get some repair kits to repair it, but either way, you've now got yourself a plane. Lovely jubbly. Well, that's going to be all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video and took something away from it. I just want to give a quick shout out to our channel members, Mega Hoof, Maggie G, Alti, Nectar, 940, Phoenix and Sam. Thank you very much for your extra and ongoing support. It's always appreciated. If you want to join them, you can head over to the channel, hit that join button and see what perk suits you best. It all goes back into the channel and gives you all a better viewing experience. But if you want to support me in another way, you can do just by liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And that way you'll stay up to date with the latest scum news, guides and content over on the channel. Until next time, see ya!